think contrast in style should this one is one of baseball's hardest throwers goes head to head with a top finesse arm. guy fastball sinking action curveball and a straight changeup but he lives and dies with the two seam sinker he needs to get ground balls if the ball's hit in the air it's usually not a good sign for Mike Lee and afternoon baseball on MLB Network is underway fellas the Mariners entering play here this afternoon they've been playing some pretty good baseball of late as they've won six of their last eight games yeah, Matty B, we've got a team here that's been playing some pretty good baseball. They're not quite in first place yet, d -Row, but they're playing good, and they'd like to stay competitive through the month of May. Yeah, they've played okay. Let's be honest. They've hit okay. They've pitched okay. They're capable of much better than this, but it's early. We find ourselves just in the early phases of May. Ride it out and find a way to get hot. And now time granted here is they'll step out to rethink things down 0-2. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball and it's still 0-2. The next 0-2. Softly hit out to short. And a leaping effort there, but it's over his head into left center, a base hit. Hey, that's why this guy's in the leadoff hole. Grinder, battler, whatever you want to call him. He is not afraid to go deep in the count. He is not afraid to hit the two strikes, and he showed it right there. And here's the second generation big leaguer, Delino DeShields. One and oh, the count. Barney on at first, nobody out. Sent out to straightaway center field. Gordon moves over and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. A chance now to look at the batting order for the visiting Rangers. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Well, I'm always excited when I get to see Adrian Beltre do his thing. He comes in hitting over 320, and to carry that kind of average, that's awfully impressive. People start to take notice. I'm noticing right now, so let's see if he's able to show us some of that hot hitting in this one. Here's the third baseman, Adrian Beltre. First swings for him in this one, with a runner still at first and one gone. First delivery to him on the way. Now Beltre swings and lifts a high fly ball out to deep left field. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. So it's a two run homer for Adrian Beltre. Sixth home run on the season for him, as that'll give the Rangers a two to nothing lead. Wow, talk about a guy getting hot, right? Hits a bomb, hit one yesterday. Usually when he gets hot, he starts to hit them in bunches. And this could be the beginning of a very, very good hot streak. So next to the plate for Texas, Joey Gallo. As we take a look at the splits between April and May. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And that's in there for strike one. Well, time to look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Dave Lawrence. Dan, we got Dave Lawrence behind the dish tonight. One of the best in the business, in my opinion, but sometimes has a tendency to fall into a pattern where he's given a little bit too much on that outside corner. Yeah, D-Road, one of the things he'll do, he'll open up that outside corner 
especially with left-handed batters. And he'll step out for a moment to reassess things here on an 0-2 count. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Faces are empty, one man out. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. And the throw to first is there to record the second out. In now the power hitting outfielder Nomar Mazzara. Past battles with Mike Lee. Two hits in seven tries. He also has one home run. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A knee high sinker, tough pitch, strike one. Mazzara tends to have more success against right handed pitching like this than he does against southpaws. Could be a comfort thing. Maybe he just picks up the ball a little better, but that's the book on him at this point. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. Two out, nobody on. And before the 0 2 pitch, he'll step out of the box here to regroup. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. You know, pitching isn't always about throwing strikes. Sometimes you just need to make sure your opponent isn't too comfortable up there. And that's just what he did right there. Busted him inside with good hard stuff. A little bouncer. Swing and a miss on the knuckle curve and the inning is over. But two here in the Rangers half of the inning and they come on this two run home run. Bottom of the first coming up two nothing Texas. Matt Bush will be on the mound for the series opener. What do we need to know here Danny. Hey, this guy's done a real good job on the year keeping the opponent's batting average down. Both righties and lefties coming into this one, hitting under 250 against this guy. He's been good all season long. Here's D. Gordon now. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Leading off for the Mariners, center fielder, D. Gordon. First offering on its way. Now a bunt attempt here. Beltre takes it in. But the throw will beat him at first, so the bunt for hit attempt is snuffed out. And now a quick look at the Mariners' starting lineup in this one. Thoughts, Dan, who stands out? Well, Matty, they need Kyle Seeger to get back on track. He's really struggled in the power category the last 10 games. How about zero home runs? You wouldn't expect that from a guy with the kind of power that he displays. Hopefully, this is the game he turns it around. Gene Segura standing in. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. He's set. Here it comes. He takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Fellas, this Rangers ball club, as they begin play, they come in off a good victory last time out, but one that was just their second win in their last eight tries. All right, Matty, they show up for game one of this road trip. They have to find a way to play a little bit better baseball. Coming off a recent homestand where they were only able to squeak out three wins, but at the end of the day, the way this team's been playing, three wins is a significant positive. So let's see how game one of this road trip treats him. Hey that's case in point right there. He thought that was going to hollow out his rib and ended up being a strike. Two quick strikes and now the 0 2 missed with a slider. I think you could have an argument for that first pitch that it could have been off the plate but there was certainly no debate with that one that missed by a ton. The one two popped him up Gallo has a play 
And that's the second out of the inning. Batting third. Second baseman. So bases are empty Robinson. here with two gone. Oh. And set to stand in the fine second baseman, Robinson Cano. Cano waits on the first pitch. Try to check it and it's 0 and 1. Here's the 0 1. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Bush, a California born ball player. He was a first round pick back in the 2004 first year player draft. Yeah, Maddie, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Bases are empty here with two men out. Ripped down the first base line. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Nothing doing here this half. We'll head to inning number two here at Safeco. Texas is out in front. Hangs up where we left off. Adrian Beltre. He'll start out the proceedings against Mike Leake as we get the inning underway. First pitch on its way. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. After short for Segura. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Now batting. First baseman. Joey Gallo. Here's Joey Gallo now. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. There's a strike. Hey, you think back to the early innings right there. You thought this guy would have been hitting the showers. A credit to him. He's been able to regroup, find his mechanics, and find a way to stay in this game. Two runs on two hits and no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. And he powers a cut fastball by him that time and he's in charge now nothing in two. Swung underneath that pitch so he was either trying to elevate the ball or he was expecting a pitch to be a sinker and drop more than it did. Nasty breaking ball swung on in the dirt. Zanino has it, and the throw is made to record the second out of the inning. Riding in once again, Nomar Mazzara. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Here's the first pitch to him. That's it to short. Does he have another 1 2 3 inning? You bet he does. 11 in a row set down, and the inning is over. Rangers set down in order, but they're on top two to nothing. Ready now, D. Gordon back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. First pitch on its way. Way in front of that fastball.
ready with the nothing and one pitch. Little dribbler up the first baseline. Foul ball, strike two. All right, that's when you got to tell yourself to slow down a little bit right there. Out in front on a fastball, hit it hard, but pulled it foul. Around the face. But there's your textbook waste pitch right there. Try and get the eye level up. Let's see if he comes back with another fastball elevated or drops a hammer off. The one two. Chopped weakly to the left. Belpre has to hurry. A play at the plate. Oh, he may have been a little disoriented there or something. That's going to allow his man to reach first safely. Hey, listen, d -Row, they're not going to complain at all. A base hit is a base hit, even though that's an infield single. And hopefully that's a good sign that things are about to turn for them in this one. Yeah, there hasn't been a fight at the bat rack, per se, Dan, in this one. I don't care what knock. I don't care if it's a swinging bun or a home run into the streets. This could get the offense going. He's ready. Here's the first offering. In the air out to left. Barney into shallow left. Looks it into his glove and there's one gone. The batter. Digging in now for the Mariners, Robinson Cano. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. First pitch coming, here it is. Popped him up. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Gordon leads off first with one away. Runners off for second. In there. Now the throw. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. Hey, it's almost impossible to throw a base runner out that gets a lead that big. And plus, this catcher's not known for having a cannon of an arm. Here comes the nothing in two pitch. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones the have that late action that just darts at the last minute. Tunino. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Here now is Mike Zanino. And he fouls this one off. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Runner's on his way to third. Strike called. Now the throw down. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. Oh, and two, here it is. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Back to back strikeouts keep them out of danger. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network. He'll start the seventh, and Dan, as a former pitcher yourself, you must be enjoying this. Lots of good pitching and defense today. Oh, that's one of the keys. We're seeing a lot of strikes. We're seeing a lot of swings. We're seeing some great plays on defense. This has been a snappy one up to this point. First pitch of the at bat. Hit back up the middle. Oh, and that's off the second base bag. And there's a base hit, so maybe some insurance here to lead off the seventh. 
Now batting, second baseman. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Rugnet Odor. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And that one just missed outside. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. That command may be starting to drift a bit. It's 2 0 now. This is a spot right here playing first base. You have to really be on your toes with a runner on first, a left handed hitter up in a 2 0 count. There's a pretty good chance if he hits this, he's going to hit it hard down that first base line. So if you're the first baseman right now, be on your toes and be ready for a bullet. Too far out in front that time. He can't keep it fair. Two and one. Now he'll step out at the plate and reassess things here. Now the 2 1 pitch. Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. The 2 2. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Neuenheis is there. One down. Riding in once again, Shin Su Chu. He's working on a one for two game so far. From the belt, kicks and deals. And boy, a high strike called there. That's not all that consistent, but it's strike one. As a look, now the pitch. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hold, 0 and 2. He offered it that pitch out of the zone there, and I think that's a result of the previous pitch getting called against him. He might feel like he's needing to expand the zone if that's how it's going to be called. In a check swing here, appeal down to third, but Matthew Ross says he held up, ball one. Maybe trying to get him off stride at the plate so he'll step out and ask for time. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curve there, and that's out number two. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him, and watching this at bat. It's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. Into the box now. Brett Nicholas in the air out to right. Neuenheis has a read on it. And the inning is over. Rangers leave one. They still lead it two to one. Ready for another shot now. Mike Zanino. He's batting cleanup in this one, but will get us started here in the inning if they look to wake up the bats. Yeah, not much to get excited about with just the single notch on the scoreboard, but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. Alex Claudio gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. Alex Claudio.
first pitch on its way and he holds up here but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. Here's the 0 1. Popped him up. Beltre waits on it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Third baseman number 15. Digging Kyle in once Seager. again, Kyle Seeger. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. He's set. Here it comes. Now a swing, and he pops him up right up the chute. This may be tough behind the plate. And he'll get back there to make the catch in front of the screen as they retire their man here for the second out. Digging in now for the Mariners, Ryan Healy. In previous meetings with Alex Claudio, he's one for four. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. That's a ball. There's a sinker that didn't sink enough, just missed high. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Two well count. The pitch is swung on and missed in that strike one. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. Mazzara is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Mariners. Our score remains two to one. Digging in to try it again, Adrian Beltre. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. The bouncer to the left side. There's Segura. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Up next for the Rangers. Here's Joey Gallo now. From the stretch. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Swing and a soft liner. Throw on to first takes care of him, and the top of the ninth is proving unfruitful thus far. Two quick outs here. In now the power hitting outfielder, Nomar Mazzara. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Here comes the first pitch. He comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. Maybe getting a little jumpy in the box, so he steps out and asks for time. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Grounded back up the middle. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Rangers as they're unable to add to their two to one lead. Gene Segura standing in and to start out the inning it looks like they've decided to stick with the same reliever out there Dan. they have Matt. I think the way he pitched the last inning kind of inspired that but it's not uncommon for relief pitchers to have troubles after they sit and watch their guys swing the bat a bit. We'll see if he stays as sharp as he was before.
from the stretch. Here's the pitch. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Quick strikes and now the 0-2. Swing and a miss and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Well, I'm glad we get another look at that beauty of a pitch right there. You can't spot a sinker in a better location because even if you do get the bat on the ball, there's not a whole lot you could do with that. Textbook sinker. Here's Robbie Cano now. As he rips it on the ground to second. And that gets through, so he'll have his first base hit and make him one for four in the game now. Hey guys, there had to be something in the scouting report right there. For him to be on top of that 0 change up the way he was, that was pretty special. forward now Mike Zanino he'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that time run from first set here's the nothing and nothing pitch this is foul right side to know the runner at first with one gun in the inning hard on the ground towards short reined in to second for one on to first but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw Next for Seattle, Kyle Seeger, who could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Inside. Sharp slider that time, just missed inside. Seager will wait on the 1-0. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw will be in time to get him at first. The Rangers have taken game one of the A nine-out save. That's three full innings. You don't see that very often these days. It's almost